Hey, what is going on guys? JSTCG here coming at you with another Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile for Team Sakurasu's channel. Thanks so much for letting me be on the channel today, buddy. I appreciate it. And today we're going to be going over my Adventure Phantom Knights deck. So losing Verte kind of hurt this deck, but very slightly. It's still very powerful. It actually freed up some spots in the extra deck since we're not playing Verte and DPE and stuff like that. It freed up some cards in the main deck as well. So this is kind of my take on it. We'll go through it and talk about it. I'm still testing it, but overall I think it's been working out really well. So starting off with our Phantom Knights lineup, this is very standard. I'm playing triple copies of our main boy here, Torn Scales, along with triple Silent Boots, double Ancient Cloak, and then one of each of Gloves and Stained Greaves. So yeah, 10 Phantom Knights in total. No more, no less. I think this is the way to go. And then the next engine of our deck is, of course, Triple Enchantress and the Griffin. Of course, we have the Adventure spells and everything once we get to the spell cards. But Adventure Package is really powerful. You can throw it in any deck and it works. I play it in Dragon Link. I've now been playing it in Phantom Knights. But yeah, I think the Adventure Package is really good. You don't have to play it. You can play more like level 3 monsters and stuff, maybe more hand traps. If you guys want to see a pure Phantom Knights deck list, if this video does well or you're interested in seeing something different, maybe head on over to my channel and let me know. I could do like a pure version on my channel. That could be fun. But yeah, um, Adventure Package, really powerful. No reason not to play it. And then just good level 3s that work in this deck, the one Graph and the one Seer. And then we have the Tracker and the Psychic Wielder. These can help you get into a Cherubini, or if you just need to get another level 3 out to overlay to go into a rank 3, you can get out, you know, the Wielder and or the Tracker. So just really good in Phantom Knights. These are always played in different Phantom Knight builds because they work. They're great level 3s for the deck. And then Hand Traps. Um, these are always just personal preference or what your local meta is like, but basically Triple Ash, it just stops a whole bunch of different things, and Double Valor. Could easily be Imperms if you wanted, maybe Nibiru even. Um, some decks don't really expect Nibiru. Some players just play into it quite easily now. It's not seeing quite as much play, but yeah, um, these five have been working out great. All right, and then the spell cards. So we have the rest of the adventure package being the three rights, the fateful, and the Draco back. And then we have the most recent addition to the deck being Forbidden Droplet. This card is insane. Thanks to the new set that came out, I was finally able to get a play set, and this card's awesome. I'm going to be putting this in like every deck that I play. But Droplet works really well in this deck because you're sending cards to the graveyard and a lot of your effects go off once they're in the grave so this card's even better in this deck it's good in like any deck but yeah feel free to replace these with chalices if you had them forbidden chalice is still really good or you could play more hand traps that definitely doesn't hurt either so you know do some testing swap some stuff out and see what works for you if you don't have droplets if you do have these definitely test it out i think it's well worth it then i have just the two emergency teleport Honestly, if I was playing Ogres or something, I would probably bump this up to three, but I'm just playing the Tracker and the Wielder, so, you know, I feel like I don't really need three. But if you do decide to add in more hand traps, maybe one or two Ghost Ogres, you could add the third Teleport in. So we do have a few one-of spells being called by the Grave, of course. This is basically another hand trap. Reinforcement of the Army. Search out any of your Phantom Knights. Then we have a Foolish Burial and a spice and a cool tech card thanks to the absolute duelist if you check them out uh, phantom knights rank up magic launch this is the old rank up magic that phantom knights used to play then there's like the newer one uh which helps you get into like your arc rebellion dragons and all that but there is one cool card in the extra deck that we use this for and we'll talk about that in a minute but yeah cool little tech card here and then traps only three phantom knight traps that being two fog blade and the one wing i kind of would like to play a third fog blade but at the same time i wanted to keep it at exactly 40 and 
I don't think the third one is really necessary. You can easily search out both when you need to. The one wings is really nice too. I actually wasn't playing this at first and I added it in and I really like it. Not only does this card protect one of your monsters from being destroyed once, but when it's in the grave, it's basically a monster reborn for your Phantom Knights. And the reason that monster reborn effect is very important is because of this special rank up magic launcher that we're playing. Because for this card, you need a dark exceed monster with no materials attached to it, and then you can basically summon an exceed that's one rank higher than that monster. So once you've used your break sword and it's destroyed, you can bring it back with this. It won't have any materials on it, and then you can rank up into a rank four. And you'll see what the rank fours are in this deck. They're pretty cool. So yeah, wings is actually really important. And once I added this in, I'm really glad I added this in. So yeah, that's it for the main deck. 40 cards even. Let's move on to the extra deck. All right, moving on to the extra deck. You know, space is really tight. There's a lot of different cards I wanted to play in here and test out. Still kind of doing that. So this isn't final, but I think this is a good start. One Cherubini. Uh, just the one is totally fine. One IP. I did have dark in here, but I think IP is a little bit better. The one Rusty, of course, gotta play him in this deck. And then we have our other Link 3 being Unicorn. And then kind of our boss monsters, our Link 4s, we have the one Appaloosa. And of course, access code when we want to go for game. And then the rest of the deck is our Exceed monsters. So I'm playing double Levier and double Breaksword. That's because you guys probably already guessed I'm playing the Utopic package. I think this is really good. F0, both F0s are cool, but uh, Utopic Draco Future is insane. I really like this card. I played these in my Bird Up deck a couple months ago, and now I decided to test them out in Phantom Knights, and I think it's really good. Then we have the spice to the deck, which is our two rank fours that we can go into using the rank up spell. That is Time Thief, Redoer, and Evil Swarm Ophion. Again, shout out to Absolute Duelist for this fun tech card, which is actually really powerful. I didn't think I had one of these, but I went through a couple of my binders and I found one. I have not seen this card in forever, but here we are playing it in 2022. This card is really good. So while this card has exceed material, level 5 or higher monsters cannot be special summoned. That's it. The uh, second effect doesn't matter. It has to do if you have uh, infestation spells or traps in your deck, which we don't. We just play this because it stops your opponent from special summoning level 5 or higher monsters. Fun little card. Sometimes you just sit on this if there's nothing else you can do. Maybe you'll have like a Rusty out or something like that but yeah evil swarm ophion for the win in 2022 who would have thought and time thief redoer just an awesome rank four but yeah just being able to steal something from your opponent attach it as material is just really funny it's always been one of my favorite rank four exceeds try to play it whenever i can when there's a deck that can use it and here we are and then our last monster kind of another boss monster although i haven't really summoned him a lot lately but the one divine arsenal zeus there's so many other cards i wanted to test out and i wish i had space for i really like the whole like raiders knight and arc rebellion dragon combo that can win you games as well maybe if you don't have an access code you could make room for those but yeah this is kind of what i'm working with so far and i really don't have any complaints so there you guys have it that is my adventure phantom knight deck for 2022. I don't know if you'll see this in June or July, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and subscribe to Team Sakurasu if you haven't. If you're here, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, show some support to them. Their channel's awesome. And feel free to check out my channel, JSTCG. I do deck profiles, Yu Gi Oh! news videos, discussion videos, just kind of a variety of different things. So yeah, check it out if you're looking for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I'd appreciate it. Uh, everyone's welcome. And until next time, I hope you guys take care and have a great rest of your day.